Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What it do, gang? We live. We back, man. Y'all know me. It's your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. This is the Golden Goose DFS show where we specialize in single entry 3 max and 20 max. So if that's what you do, you're in the right place. But if you play DFS at all, NFL and NBA, this is the place you want to be. Trust me, man. Rocking with us every week when the videos drop. So go on and hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on so you know when all those things happen. Also, do me a small favor. Hit that like button, man. You already know I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Let's talk about it, man. Third and goal series. Friday to finish up the week, man. We talking tight ends, so you know I got three of them queued up. I'm going to drop on you. Let's talk about tight end a little bit, man. Obviously, you know the pay-up guys are in play. Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews. They're still questionable. I think both of them was limited in practice. But if they play, man, they definitely in play, man. If they do, if they do not, that's what things get tricky at. Because when you get outside of these top tier tight end options, man, you just gotta hope the touchdowns fall your way. So it gets rough, man. Hopefully they in play. Get as much of them. Get as much of these two as, as you want. I would lean more towards Kelsey, but I like the price saving on Andrews. He's definitely gonna be involved over there. Now. Getting outside of that, like I said, I got three outside of these top guys I'm going to have my eye on, whether they play or not. If the top guys play, I'm definitely getting exposure to them. Uh, but I'm definitely going to work in some of these other tight ends. That they're both kind of expensive. So three guys I got queued up for you. First on the list, we're going Sam Laporta, 3,900 for the Detroit Lions. Listen, he's involved in the passing game. He has a solid team total. Solid game total here in this matchup, man. And that's pretty much all you can ask for when you get outside of these top tier tight ends, man. You want them to be involved in the passing game, have a high team total, so you know they project to be in the red zone and score a lot. Then you just got to hope he gets some of those end zone targets when you get down there, man. That's all you're really looking for in these cheap tight ends because nothing's really guaranteed. Like I said, if you're not one of these top guys, Kelsey Andrews, your targets are not really guaranteed. And you and your chances of being a top tier tight end on the week is kind of low. So, give me Sam Laporta right here, thirty nine hundred. He checks all those boxes for me. I like him. Gonna get him in the mix here against these Seattle Seahawks. Coming in right after Laporta, we gonna go right here to Luke Musgraves, thirty two hundred for the Green Bay Packers. Another guy that was involved in the passing game actually should have had a touchdown. Fell inside the 10, man, just losing his balance out there. But going against the Atlanta Falcons here, listen, and uh, let me add, sorry, let me add that Aaron Jones could possibly be out. Didn't practice again on Thursday. Definitely got to monitor that situation. If Aaron Jones is out, it's going to be a little boost to Luke Musgrave. They're going to probably have to lean on him a little more. Maybe he's a little more involved because that's a major weapon to lose in Aaron Jones. They they motioned him out at receiver. They used him all over the field. So if he is out, that's definitely a boost to Luke Musgrave. But even if he plays, man, I think this Green Bay offense may be a little better. Better than people expected. I'm not trying to overreact off the first week, but just the eye test, they look a little better. And Jordan Love look a little better than I expected them to look again. Uh, look myself. So we're going to see, man. We're going to see how it play out. I, I, I'm slowly getting a little confidence in this Green Bay offense. I like going to Luke Musgrave right here, a tight end option that could be a little more involved this week. All right? And then rounding it out, I'm going to go to Logan Thomas, 3,100. For the Washington Commanders, going against the Denver Broncos, listen, I was not impressed by the Commanders last week like most of you probably were, struggling against the Cardinals. I expect Denver to fully be up in this game. I kind of like them minus the points as that Washington offense has left something to be desired last week. But a few bright points, Logan Thomas was used in the passing game. Saw eight targets last week. And I think he could be in line for that, for that similar type of workload as they're going against a tough defense in the Denver Broncos. Terry McLaurin has a tough matchup outside with Patrick Sertan. So uh, Sam Howell could lean a little more to Dotson and a little more to Thomas than he did last week. Logan Thomas caught four passes last week and an eight out of about 10 yards per catch. So it's not no little uh, hitches and curls up in there. He's actually getting some depth to his targets. 
Hopefully, Washington only have like a what is, uh, 17, 18 point team total. I know it's a little low, but that's still two touchdowns in there. So, hopefully, they're going to work their way into the end zone and can target Logan Thomas once they get down that 3,100. Listen, that's going to do it for us here today. Y'all know I don't never like to keep you long. I know you got other things to do, man. We're going to give you the picks and get you on your way every time. That's your three tight ends this week. Logan Thomas, Luke Musgrave, and Sam LaPorta. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pools. They definitely going to be in mind. That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all already know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.